I was wrong about Karate Combat. Dead wrong. Hello, this is your host, Les Bubka, and welcome to today's episode of Anxious Black Belt, a podcast that focuses on karate, mental health, and everything in between. If you enjoy my content and would like to support, there's few easy ways to do it. First one is simply to listen to another episode. This helps a lot. Second one, you can buy me a coffee via buy me a coffee link in the show notes. And the third one is to support my work. I'm an author and selling a few books. You can find them on Amazon or directly on my website. Link in the show notes below. If you would like to stay up to date with what's coming up, be sure to follow me on social media at Les Bubka. And now let's get back to the show. Enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Anxious Black Belt podcast again. And um, today's subject is Karate Combat and its evolution. Um, I done a video a few months ago about the Karate Combat. If you want to have a check it out, it's a link in the show notes or on YouTube in above. And I was hoping that it's going to be a remedy for Karate's image. I was hoping it's going to bring Karate to the light in a positive manner and it's going to demonstrate that Karate people can fight equally well as Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA and so on. Unfortunately, the direction that uh, Karate Combat took is not what I was hoping for. With a participants starting to badmouth each other and doing show, you know, being a comedian. Um, I personally don't enjoy things like that and that's why I don't watch um, UFC. I kind of don't watch, pre- watch pre-fights on boxing either. Simply because it's not, not to my taste. Uh, I like competition being respectful. Uh, karate is well known for it. Um, so it seems, but I know the money is in there, I know the money is in the showmanship and you can see an example of Conor McGregor how popular that behavior is. Although I think it is not very good for being a role model in that way and then people are surprised why young students in the gyms um, disrespect others and just try to be a showman instead of a good sport. also, I'm not agreeing with the freak shows. I know it's popular. I know people want to watch people who have no skills go in there and fight between YouTubers, um, Bitcoin managers, and so on and so on. It's totally not my cup of tea. I don't enjoy that. I think it's uh, embarrassment. And, you know, if people want to do that, that's great. But I don't think so. That is a good image for a karate organization. And now we've got a grappling competition as well, which is fine. Um, I have nothing against grappling. I like grappling. I do it myself. But um, if we're doing karate, let's stick to the karate. And as well, the quality of fights seems to be a bit on a downside. Um, The karate people not sticking to their skills. It all seems to be a haymakers and charge forward. Uh, with obviously with exceptions of um, few fighters but in general I think that is um, less skillful fighters in the ring obviously it is a new format so it's gonna take time for people to get better and stuff I also disagree with uh, not having low kicks I think it takes the um, skills out of karate and limiting people and people who prepare for those competition are missing that part in the training on the other side watching a one championships i thoroughly enjoy there's high quality um, fighters um, there's wide spectrum as well of different things you can have a different format you've got karate guys joining in like the uh, recent fight between a kyokushin fighter and a, a chinese kickboxer beautiful fight uh, for the youtube guys they are clips going now comparing both events i took random event from the karate combat and a random event from one championships i think that uh, one championships is a bit better organized 
um, they have a far more excitement in it the fights are exciting they got high profile guys there's wide range of different fighters from different styles um, beautiful fights for ladies and um, you know you've got MMA you've got kickboxing you've got Muay Thai you've got grappling um, so wide range of events they're organized perp uh, perfectly uh, purposefully as well the audience is superb everybody is supporting there's no kind of bad shouting behind at least I didn't come across and one thing which really annoys me in a um, karate combat and I'm gonna put the audio sample and the video sample here oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Is that uh, commentators using bad language like shit and stuff like that? This shouldn't be happening. You should be professional. You're commenting on the fight. You're not making laugh and taking Mickey out of other people, uh, especially fighters who went in. Um, I think it's just a bad look. I think that you know using bad language as a commentator it just it just ruins everything and shows disrespect uh, I don't agree with it and this is another reason why I will not be watching Karate Combat um, and I will be moving into um, one championship for sure I'm watching them at the moment this is the best platform for me um, I'm really really enjoying it and you know um, you stick to what you enjoy. Uh, shame that there's no platform for purely for karate guys. Um, but, you know, I'd rather not have it than have it in a disrespectful manner. And promoting the bad behavior with young people, young adults and young fighters. Um, because that's where the money is. Um, I think karate is more than that. I think it's good for uh, overall mental health, physical health, fighting skills and just a hobby but having seen it being promoted as a something that we can make money on which is not a bad thing you can make money on on everything but in the way it's promoted and you know ruins the image of it for me so for a uh, podcasters this is gonna be the end of it because i can't show you the image uh, on my platform but on the youtube you can see the comparison side by side of the event and you can make your own mind. Um, but for me, sorry Karate Combat, you lost the viewer. Take care, till the next one.